Hey, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Well, afternoon now. It's almost noon. Um, right now, I am kind of like just got ready. Um, I'm going... Oh my god, I can't even talk. So I'm going to be heading to my tip luncheon. Um, I talked about my transition to practice program a little bit earlier. My lashes are whack today. So basically, it's my preceptorship for next term. Um, we had to like interview and go through this whole process to get in and just kind of like a celebratory lunch where we get to like meet um, like people people who are like the managers and stuff um, I have my nails done maybe I shouldn't have gotten them done but it's our one week off and so yeah um, well they did make us wear like business casual so if you want to see what I'm wearing um, I have these black pants I have a belt I'm gonna be wearing like flats um, this top I'm pretty sure I thrifted and then I'm just wearing, um, like two rings and then this, like, necklace. But yeah, so I'm gonna be heading over. I should probably head over now because it's gonna be at 12.30 and it's already 12, so. Oh wait, this is, like, really cute. So, so the people that, um, gave us this thing... I don't want to show like what hospital I'm at just for like safety reasons. I like totally forgot to film because I forgot my camera. But it was really really nice. Um, we had like CPK catering, so the food is pretty good. I like I'm really Filipino and I took some home, and yeah, it was really good. We had like desserts too, and they gave us like this little bag and they kind of like had a presentation. But yeah, I want to talk about it more maybe later on but it's really hot right now. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of like quickly show what I got in this little bag because we got this thing at the tip program um, luncheon. So I really like, I'm curious to see what's in it too. I'm trying to not show the hospital name just because um, like privacy problems, but Aww. Oh, sweet. We got a little lanyard that says transition into practice. Maybe I'll use that later. And then, oh, we got a nice lunch box. It's from the hospital. And then we got a highlighter. And then I think this is a pen light. I don't know how to turn it on. Oh, there we go. That's nice of them. Okay. And then we got this water bottle. Oh, this is kind of cute. I probably won't use it just because I literally just bought a hydro. Um, but this is nice. Maybe I'll give it to my grandparents. <laughs> that was really nice. I don't know, really. Oh, you know what I could use this for? I can use this for my father's day gift. These. Oh, shit. I just realized I sent that bag to my dad. Hopefully he doesn't remember. Hold on, I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna start talking about critical care. Cause I know a lot of people kind of like to hear about my term and then I also kind of like to look back on it. Especially cause this term was kind of like one of the hardest, no, 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 the hardest term that I've had thus far. So I just wanna talk like briefly on it. Why isn't it focused? Ow. So, now that I'm all changed, I can... I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about critical care. So the only thing that I took really this term was critical care and then the clinical portion. So I had two days a week, um, which honestly doesn't sound like much. But when you take into account the amount of content we had, it was actually pretty crazy. <sighs> We literally had like almost like 10 chapters a week and like the content is so dense. My phone is right here. Um, but yeah, so the first week I remember was probably the busiest. Um, we had like orientation skills and then um, we had clinical orientation. <sighs> I really don't want to dig up my binder right now because I just put it away. 
this is the amount of content we covered in eight weeks no eight or nine weeks so it's actually pretty crazy this is like the front the back all the content and then there's another paper I really don't want to relive this, so I'm going to put this away now. <laughs> to say the least, critical care was the hardest term that I have ever experienced within nursing school. Um, like, you guys have, like, kept up with me for, like, a while now, and you probably seen, like, my other videos where I talk about um, how my term went. And usually, like, in peds, it was okay. In public health, it was whatever. OB was okay for the most part. But this one really... I didn't realize how debilitating this term was because literally almost every single week I was like crying. Week one was really jam packed. Week two, we took our first quiz. And week two, um, so week one, I was actually interviewing for TIP, which is the program that I got into. And that like really threw me off for the first week, so I really wasn't studying that much. But that's why it really reflected on my first exam score. Because I'm not normally like a low scorer. Like I don't score low on exams usually. It's not like my typical to like score low. But the first quiz, I failed. I like straight up just flunked the test. And that was really hard for me. That was really hard for me because like this like thus far like I've been doing really well in my classes so for me to flunk an exam I just was taken aback and like I really had to like reevaluate what I was doing so come the third week I considered the third week I like passed my exam but I still wasn't passing the course itself so at that point I really had to reevaluate like what is taking too much time what can I cut out and for me I'm lucky enough where I'm not I don't have to work to sustain my, I don't have any kids or I'm not married. So I had to quit my job essentially. And which was really hard for me because like I really do enjoy like working with like the mental health, the community. So it was really, really hard for me to let go of that job. But I knew it was for my own benefit and for my own good to do that because if I didn't do that, I don't know if I would be like sitting here and telling you that I passed this course. It was really hard this term. Usually there's like every single term me and Alex will go to like some sort of event um, near the end, in the middle, and that's kind of just like our stress reliever, but not just me, but he was also stressed out. And we weren't able to go because this term was just way, way, way too much. Um, yeah, it was really hard. I don't even know how to explain it to you unless you were to take it. Um, so our exams were 75 questions and some of them were short answers, some of them were, um, some of them were multiple choice and there were 25 que- no, it depends, it depends on how many it's worth. Um, and there were like six quizzes I believe. And then there were was one proctored exam and one final. So that's the criteria for what is within our syllabus and like what you have to take. And you have to achieve at least 76% uh, in order to have all like the homework and like the ATI work be factored into your grade. So homework isn't factored into your grade until you hit that critical grade of 76. Like this class is really hard because I, I normally do get A's in my classes, but I did really hard for this course. And a lot of times, especially, I remember the endocrine chapter, I knew it back and forth. Like, I knew the insulin, I knew the, the what is it, the onset, the peak, the everything. Um, I knew, like, the side effects of, like, the medications for SIADH. But still, I wasn't scoring well on my exams. And I, like, wasn't sure exactly what it was, but here I am, I passed. <laughs> But, and you know, there was a lot of, like, controversy within, um, this whole term itself. A lot of students had to go to faculty in order to, um, 
get a lot of things sorted out so that we would actually have a fair chance of even passing this course. Um, so yeah, it's actually really sad. Um, I didn't go to any of those um, forums just because, for one, I had clinical on Monday and I really wanted to go to that day. Um, but the second day, they had PALS, which is our tutoring. And I did want to go to the forum, but in the end, I think it was more beneficial for me to go to the review session for tutoring. If I'm not already doing well in the class and there's someone who's out there willing to tutor me, I'm going to go take that as opposed to vocalizing my dismay at the class. I don't know how else to like ward it. I didn't necessarily think that it was um, the most fair class. Uh, per se, um, there was a lot of like politics involved and that's why if you listen to one of my vlogs um, a couple weeks ago, it was one of my vlogs where I was like doing something, I was studying for something, um, I was studying for the open book exam. The reason why we had that open book exam was because um, the forum where the students talked to the higher ups to get that because we weren't being graded fairly and tested correctly and such. But that's a whole nother issue. Um, but yeah, um, so things that I wish I had done before going into critical care, I really wish I had done just some general practice NCLEX questions just to get back into the style of it. Because when I was in public health, um, it was straight memorization. So I wasn't necessarily getting that exposure to the NCLEX style questions. Um, also, I would go over pharmacology for sure. Just know your general like classifications of drugs, like know your ACE inhibitors, what they do, what their side effects are, um, and things like that. Do your basic head-to-toe assessment. Try and do it on a family member just so that you're able to do it in person. Um, know your lab values because those showed up so much. And I get why it is important, but I don't... In the real world, like, my nurse would just kind of, like, look at the the reference. But it is good to know it off the top of your head because what if it is an emergent case? Um, but, yeah. So clinical for me, okay, honest to God, my clinical professor literally scared the living hell out of me because I came home crying, like, the second week and... Like, I practiced my ass off for my physical assessment, and then I really truly did learn a lot. Um, if you watch my stories, or if you follow me on any of my social media, um, I'm gonna have it linked here. Or linked down below. <laughs> I don't know. Rotated between tele, ER, ICU, and cath lab. I would say my favorite was the ER, and although that's not my preceptorship next year, that was probably my favorite just because you get so much hands-on experience, um, especially with IVs, which I really didn't get that much much experience until this term. So that was really, really fun because I literally did like eight IVs and I hadn't done that many. And then we did blood draws and it was just like really fast paced and like just really overall fun. Um, I did see some really like sad, sad cases. Um, there was one like 19 year old who had OD'd. We had to tube him, we put a catheter in him. Um, I put the OG or NG tube, I can't remember. Um, I don't know, it was just a really, really sad case. The ER is so, like, it's so interesting. But the only thing is you're exhausted after your shift. Like, literally after that shift, I felt like I just wanted to sleep forever. <laughs> um, I remember one of my patients was really sweet and they gave me, like, this little bracelet. Um, I inserted that clip, like, I think the last vlogs if you want to see that. It also rotated a lot in the ICU. Um, I didn't, I was only on telly maybe like once or twice. Um, we got to pick which units we wanted to be on for which weeks and that's kind of why I didn't choose telly. So that's why I decided like to gear towards the ICU or ER because I already knew that ICU was going to be my rotation and ER was what I was super interested in. Um, ICU wow like I was really really independent during that um they would literally give me the medication and they would um just kind of like stand by me and watch me like plug everything in which was really cool you kind of just have to trust yourself and another thing is when they do that make sure that 
you're like, okay, I did it. Can you check the pup for me and check the medication dosage and everything? But yeah, um, I would say this is very rewarding in terms of like the rotation itself. Um, if I'm gonna be honest, like a rotation that I didn't find fulfilling was like OB. I didn't feel like I gained anything from it. But this term I gained a lot of more like clinical experience, hands-on. I just feel like overall more comfortable being in like a room or being the nurse for a patient that is intubated on a vent in, in a very critical state. It's really interesting, but it's also kind of like sad and draining to see someone like that. Because you think about it and it's like, this can like literally be anyone. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was in the ICU, like the concept of death is very like, they brush it off very fast. And I get that it does happen a lot in the ICU, but I don't think it should necessarily be just another thing. And I get this is like part of the job and stuff, but I was just like, dang, like that's like somebody's somebody, but it's so easy to get desensitized. I guess my camera just wants me to stop talking because it just shut off all of a sudden. But yeah, that was pretty much it. In terms of lecture, I didn't like score that good on the final, but like I passed the final, so that's why here I am saying that I passed the class. Um, it was a hard rotation. I understand why people struggle with this so much because this is a really, there are some difficult concepts to grasp and so much information to know in such little time. It's such a huge chunk of the NCLEX and it's an important subject in being a nurse, especially because of the fact that a lot of us are gonna be on a med surge unit and have to face like these patients in critical conditions. Why you have to be proficient in this information because you don't want some like half-assed nurse. I don't want like someone who's half-assed like taking care of like my family member and I don't think anyone else would either. It's still like a learning process for me as well. Um, it's not something that you can necessarily let go of and even though I don't want to relive it, I'm going to constantly be having to look back at like my notes and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my critical care rotation. If you have any questions, either like add me on social media and I'll, I'm more likely to answer there. Um, my Instagram is jazzmanite, J-A-S-M-A-N-I-T-E. I don't know my Snapchat. I should really change my username so I'll be the same, but I don't know how to do that. But yeah, so if you have any questions, leave them down below or shoot me a DM. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.